Oh, this is Robert here from RobCoven.com and I'm going to show you a couple of ways to cut out images and get rid of backgrounds. Now with this giraffe it's very easy to cut out because the background's very consistently blue. I would do this with the magic wand tool or you could press W on your keypad and you notice this tolerance here that's how effective the magic wand can be. At zero it chooses pixels that are very very similar to the one you're clicked on and as you can see or you probably can't see but it's only chosen the area very very close to where I clicked if you increase the intolerance up a bit it'll choose more and you can go to 255 and it'll choose the whole of the image or if you go to about 100 then it's chosen all of the sky and as we want to just cut out the giraffe and not the sky, we need to inverse the selection by going Command Shift I or select Inverse. And then the selection will just be around that object. Another thing we can do at this moment would be to feather the selection, which puts a little Gaussian blur around the edge of the selection so it's not so hard. And the minimum you can do to that is one pixel, and I usually find that's the best thing to do. So we've made our selection, now we could, we could copy or paste that, or we could do Command J, and it'll just copy the giraffe there. And now if we put another layer in with a background, we can see our cutout working against a white background or a black background. For something like this picture, We've, um, we've got a, a background that isn't consistent, so I'm afraid what you've got to do is do it by hand and trace around her with the pen tool. And now that we have the pen tool selected, um, we have to have it on paths rather than shape layers. We don't have to, but if we do, it will it'll draw an annoying shape. And we go. We st start to go around the image. So let's start at the bottom here. And these paths work with Bezier curves, uh, which, if you use Illustrator, you'll be familiar with. I'm going to do this now for five minutes, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I've done the path there. I'll just show that to you. I've just gone around the edge of the figure. You can see it's always better to go around the inside of the figure rather than the outside. You might get a little bit of the background showing. Here it is in the paths palette. You can double click on it if you want to save the path, um, but you don't have to. The thing you have to remember is just click command or control on the path icon and that turns the path into a selection. And then same with the layers palette, you can then do Command J or copy and paste the layer. Again, I'm going to put another background layer in to show the cutout working. And there you have the cutouts.